YouTube, welcome back to my booster box unboxing for Tonight Team Q4 VBT01. Uh, if you missed the previous one, the first box that I, op I opened uh, with a little bit more detail, you can go and check it out uh, right now, up here, or at the top of this video, you should be able to see it. Here's just a brief run through of the things I got, but if you want to see what I actually got and when I pulled them, go ahead and check them out. I've managed to find the actual size sleeves for the cards, so we're going to be going through these a lot faster now. I also managed to find... Uh, a ruler so I can cut open the side of the booster box faster and it looks like it's working decently well probably the side side would have been the best to cut open anyways here we go so again the three the four promo packs that come with uh, each of the boxes and the sleeves I won't be showing you guys the sleeves again if you want to see what comes with each box go ahead and check out the video uh, my very first video unboxing uh, of this set. So moving on to the second set. As always, you got your gift marker promos. And let's go. Hoping to pull that SVR, that Origin Rare Blaster Blade, or that Sweet Image Rare or Secret Rare. First pack in. We have just rares. We have uh, the Cosity Dragon and the check the top one and put it back on the top of the bottom for on call for Oracle Think Tanks. Second pack. Got a trash bag at the side so it's not so messy now. Uh, gonna put that in the trash bag as well. And yes, I got another. This is turning out to be a pretty good unboxing. Uh, we got another one of the same cards, interesting back to back, but we also got another Flash Shield Assault. Who knows, maybe I'll get one in each box and I won't even have to buy any. So I'm going to take that, put that in a sleeve. This is going to be for me, for my Royal Paladin deck. Very nice. So I'm going to put that where you can see it. Next pack on the right side. I'm getting really bad at opening these packs. I feel like they were a lot easier to open last time and the plastic quality went up. We have comments. And yes, Hi Dog Breeder Akane. This is another really useful card for Royal Paladins. You can counterblast one to call a Pongol. Uh, when you place her on the Vanguard or Rearguard, use her and call a Pongol to the field for counterblast one. And whenever it's boosted by a High Beast, she gets plus 3000 power. So it's a pretty good card and pretty useful tech for Royal Paladins. Gonna take that, put that in a sleeve. Um, chances are she's gonna be in one of my Royal Paladin decks. So, yep, pretty glad to have her. Next pack. We have Flame of Hope Aramo, another great pool. Um, it's a triple R uh, Flame of Hope Aramo. His skill is when it boosts a when it boosts, it gets plus three thousand power. Kind of a a kind of a random skill that just gives it power for free. But you know, whatever. It's a triple R. Uh, and when a unit is retired, you can retire this unit and draw a card and send and counter charge one, which is Kagero's only way of char uh, counter charging uh, in the new standard format. So. That's going to be pretty useful and pretty valuable. And a Prowling Dragon Strike. In. So I'm going to put that in a sleeve as well. Flame of Hope. Aramo. Next pack. There we go. Getting a hang of this again. We have Dragonic Gaius. Or I think it's Gaius. Gaius. Yep. Gaius. Dragonic Gaius. So this card is pretty interesting. Uh, you can counterblast one, send him to... Uh, I think you just retire him or send him to send him to soul. I think it is. Uh, when this unit boosts a grade three or higher vanguard, you can uh, add one critical to his attack. But do take note that when you when you uh, send him when you're boosting a okay, so the effect is it boosts a grade three or higher vanguard, and you can send him to soul for a counter blast to give your vanguard plus one crit. Of course, if you've seen the Dragonic Waterfall effect, it's supposed to help compound that effect and add one critical to the effect, but you don't get that 8,000 power when you send him to soul while boosting. So just, just to take note of that, a uh, common mistake that people make. And another Battle Dwarf Fighter. Pretty useful for that budget Nova Grappler deck I'm going to be building. So keep an eye out for that as well. Lots of strong pools on this side. Hope it's not all going to be on one side, unless, of course, we get a OR or Image Rare. Lion Main Stallion. Cup Bowler, Cat Burglar, and Vortex Dragon, and this other card. It's a pretty good card. Uh, it's the Sentinel, other Sentinel option for Oracle Think Tanks. So if you're not rich enough to afford, or rather you're a budget player, um, that is a good option. 
Or maybe you don't even want to run Sentinels in a uh, budget OTT deck since you do get those pr Protect give markers as well. Let's run Riser and we get for our VR Perfect Riser. Pretty interesting to see if maybe we'll get one of each of the cards. And of course we also got a Oracle Guardian Gemini. So that is our VR for the box. Pretty nice. Hoping to pull of course the big two, Alfred and Dragonic Waterfall. Maybe they're even their SVR. Uh, not for this box, because if you get a VR, you don't get an SVR for sure. But we still have a chance for these secret rares. The other kind of rares for the pack itself. We have just two rares. Another Pongo that's going to be useful for the SSD build. And Red Lightning, Wall Boy, a couple of triggers for each of the clans. Uh, interesting to note that they don't give that many additional triggers, so they're really going to keep to maximum two critical triggers so you don't play... Uh, 12 critical triggers like was like the uh, standard or rather the uh, the main thing was in in the premium format next we have solid turtle and very nice we've got weather forecaster miss mist this is of course the draw trigger perfect guard for oracle think tank very very nice card and another lizard soldier obia very good card very highly sought after because you of course you want to have that extra benefit of having a draw trigger perfect guard Got quite a few cards so far, and quite a few packs to go. Almost a full half box. But of course, the pool ratios have been increased, uh, so you might get more than you think. Another Miss Splendor and another Fanagal. Pretty standard pack. More triggers. And we get Victorious Deer, the finisher, or one of the finishers for Oracle Ting Tanks. Uh, extremely strong effect, kind of restrictive uh, uh, ability, but I will be going through all these boss units in a review of the set once uh, some time has passed to give you my thoughts and my verdict on the boss units for VBT-01. So pretty good so far. We've got most of our doubles, I think. One, two, three, four. We have two doubles more and one triple more to go. And maybe a secret rare. The cut, guys. Turns out my camera didn't have enough space and I ended up not recording most of, well, the second half of the previous box. But these are the cards I got. Just briefly, uh, I got the Perfect Riser, Circle Magus, Aramo, Akane, Twin Blader, where the Forecaster is missed. Another Assault, really useful. I hope I get one in this box too. Uh, Dragonic Gaius, Victorious Deer, and another Razor Custom. So, so far in the new box, and I didn't even realize this, but we just pulled one Marin. We're only two packs in. And uh, I managed to get a second Twin Blader. So that is pretty good for pools so far in terms of our double rare pools. Hopefully we'll get an Alfred this box and the next one so I don't have to go hunting for Alfreds, as it were. We have Berserk Dragon, another really good triple R. Um, and of course another perfect guard for cheap. Uh, Berserk Dragon, a really good triple R for... Uh, Kagero, Soul Blast 1 and Counter Blast 1 to retire any rear guard, and if he's on the Vanguard circle, uh, when this effect is used, you can draw a card as well. And on the rear guard, I think if you have more rear guards than your opponent, he also gets plus 3000 power when attacking. So all around, a really good triple R card. And another one that is going to be probably quite a staple in a bunch of decks, but of course I'll be showing you a budget version of the uh, Kagero deck that uses probably Nahalams to change it around. Next we have... Just another two double rare pack with a, or rather, two double R, uh, two single R's, Battle Door Fighter, and another one of those draw trigger, a uh, non draw trigger perfect guards, normal grade one perfect guards. All right, still in that hunt for the SVR or secret rares. We have Vortex Dragon and another Victorious Deer. So Vortex Dragon, of course, very powerful card for Kageros. And Victorious Deer, another very powerful finisher. And not a bad card as well. You probably want to run at least a few of her in her deck so that you have that chance to get that finisher. And pretty much once you hit that card, uh, unless your opponent has a whole bunch of perfect guards, they are a goner. Still in the running. My VR. We have a triple R. Silent Tom. A very nice pool. Uh, his skill is... Of course, a very iconic card. Uh, 9,000 power, grade 2. When you call him to the Vanguard or Rearguard circle, or you ride him on the Vanguard or the Rearguard circle, you can counterblast one to give him plus 6,000 power. But at the same time, you can also 
uh, his secondary skills, the continuous effect, on Vanguard and Rearguard, when he attacks, you cannot call normal units to guard. That means you have to call using only trigger units. The way you can tell the difference is trigger, has, trigger units have yellow borders at the bottom, and uh, normal units have that classic black border. So of course, this is kind of a reverse of his original skill, where you, could only, you couldn't guard with grade zeros. Now it seems like you can only guard with grade zeros and intercepts. So another all-round really good card, another battle dog fighter, and pretty good pull. Uh, getting lots of uh, Oracle Think Tank pulls, but that's to be expected because they have the highest number of uh, hollow foil cards in the set. So, next pack we have just another double single R pack, another Gemini, and another Burst Razor. The last card, last pack on the right side. We have another normal pack. Pretty good overall. And Battle Door. A boomerang Thrower and Knight of Rose Morgana. Uh, sorry if I'm moving a little bit fast, but maybe that's better since I usually spend lots of time dwelling on a card. Um, but my camera does not have a lot of battery space. And we get another Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. So, of course, we haven't pulled a. Uh, it's sold in this pack, in this uh, box yet, but if we could, that would be fantastic because I still need four assaults. We get a, another Asura Kaiser, and I think that is our last triple. So unfortunately, we haven't seen any Soul Saver Dragons, and we've had a repeat of Asura Kaiser, but, you know, I may splash him in and make a uh, Nova Grappler deck that is sort of budget, but still has a couple of pretty good cards. And of course, nice, we get a VR Dragonic Waterfall. This is of course probably one of the most expensive normal uh, cards in the set. And he is a classic finisher. I realize I didn't go through a Surakaiser skill, but Dragonic Waterfall skill. Uh, when you ride him, you can instantly kill something that is grade 2 or above, uh, retire. And for a Soul Blast one, when Soul Blasting one grade three, when he attacks, your opponent cannot call Sentinels to guard, and they get that plus ten thousand one critical, making him an extremely, extremely potent finisher. Pretty damn good card. And Asura Kaiser. Before I move on, Asura Kaiser skill is that when you drive track a grade two or higher, you get to stand a unit, and if you drive track a grade three, you can counter blast one to give it ten thousand power, making it essentially, like I said before in my review, um, the only way to get actual stand triggers in standard. And there we go. Two more single R's. Two more single R's. If we could somehow pull out a magical card right here, it would be great. We've got a high-powered Razor Custom. Now, this is a pretty good card for Nova Grapplers. In fact, I kind of wish I got more of him rather than the other one. But he's a really good card. When you call him to Vanguard or Rearguard, you can call a Battle Riser from your soul and to the Rearguard. And if he hits, uh, if his attack hits, you can Counter Blast 1, send a Battle Riser back into the soul, and stand one of your units. A really powerful card, making use of uh, Battle Riser more than once. Of course, that's also where the other card that can retire grade zeros comes into play. You might want to take out that pesky battle riser while it's on the board. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have just another two single R's. And for the last pack of this box, we have a Wyvern Guard Bari. It's not the Flash Shield Assault, but I'll take it. It's definitely a really, really good card. Uh, two of the more popular clans, of course. Uh, Draw Trigger Perfect Guard looks pretty good so far. So, quick run through of the foils we got. For our doubles, we got uh, another three Draw Trigger Perfect Guards, another Little Sage Marin, very useful, uh, Berserk, oh sorry, Victorious Deer, and High Powered Razor Custom. Victorious Deer, High Powered Razor Custom, we have the three Triple R's Berserk Dragon, uh, Silent Tom, and Asura Kaiser. And of course, Dragonic Waterfall, very, very nice card. Beautiful art. I don't really take the time to stop and admire these arts, but unfortunately I'm running out of time, so we'll have to do that in another video. I have quite a little bit of time left, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to go through the last box as fast as possible. Still no Alfred, and 
with one of each of the other VRs in each of my boxes, I'm hoping maybe we can even get a SVR version of Alfred. Uh, whether I'll play it or I'll trade it off so I can get more Alfreds, that one I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see. We have first pack. Vortex Dragon and another Asura Kaiser as our triple red to start. So it looks like that budget, sort of budget, uh, uh, Nova Grappler deck is coming together pretty well. Maybe I'll just be able to make it right after this video, which is something I've been looking forward to because I actually really do enjoy uh, the Nova Grappler's theme. And I think it'll be pretty fun to mix and match and get some pretty cool cards. Burst Riser and Oracle Guardian Gemini. Getting that Conjurer of Mithril, finally, after all, these time, all this time, you can call a grade 2 card from your deck uh, to your rear guard for Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. It's a Royal Paladin unit. Uh, some people may run it, some people may not. It uses up the soul that you'd want to save for Soul Saber Dragon, but it does give you another unit on the field. And it's pretty good at charging up, uh, building up your field for that final Soul Saber Dragon turn. Uh, the Battle Door Fighter and the Perfect Guard. And we have another Triple R Berserk Dragon. Pretty damn good. So Berserk Dragon's probably a 4-off in every deck. Every uh, non-budget deck anyway. And for him, uh, it's probably quite useful since you don't have any restrictions on what you can retire. And we have another Promised Daughter. Very good card for Oracle Think Tank. Pretty much always going to be that 15k attacker since Oracle Think Tank is going to draw a crazy amount of cards in every single turn. Coming to the end of that right side very soon. Just another two single R's. Very nice to see more of those boomerang throwers since it's a really good card. We've yet to see the VR for this set so hopefully it is something nice and shiny. And it's just two single R's in that last right side. Whew, I can't believe this is coming towards an end, but here we go. And we get another, I think this is Spillover Dragon. Nope, I, I don't actually remember this card's name and I didn't check it the previous time. But he's an interesting card, allows you to make more attacks early game, but whether you want to use him is another question altogether. Of course, I may run him in a budget version of the Kagero Trial deck. Who knows? Or maybe I'll put him up as trade bait. Another Wyvern Guard Bari, really, really nice to see all these Wyvern Guard Baris and Flash Shield Assaults. If we can just get another Flash Shield Assault, that would be perfect. Wyvern Guard Bari, very, very good card. Especially for in terms of value for money. And we get another Dragonic Waterfall. That is pretty damn good because. Well, I mean, no matter how you look at it, Dragonic Waterfall is going to be the most expensive VR in the set, and definitely worth more than Alfred, so probably going to be able to get a decent decent price for him. Unfortunately, that means probably not going to get an Alfred anymore, unless there's some fluke or um, problem, but there's still a chance to get that SVR, and probably a Soul Saver Dragon if it is in this box. Have I gotten all my triple R's? Maybe I have. I've gotten one Berserk Dragon and one Asura Kaiser, so there's still a chance of me getting a very, very nice Soul Saver Dragon. Or even a Origin Rare, perhaps, if I'm lucky. Another Razor Custom. Not the best card. But again, maybe pretty good in a Riser deck. I'll put that in the sleeve in a bit, just want to get through these cards before. My space runs out. Two single R's. And for the last pack, oh, the last two packs, I should say, one of these should be my triple R. And hopefully one of these will be something else. And for the triple R, I got my second High Dog Breeder Akane. Pretty good, uh, since I probably wanted a few copies of her. And for the last pack, just to end it off, Nice, a Twin Blader. So, 
pretty good pulls in this box as well. So just to end things off and put these cards in sleeves. Going from the first box to the fourth box, here is what I got. From the first box, a bunch of these really good cards. From the second box, my VR was Perfect Riser. Got a bunch of Sentinel Perfect Guards. Another Dragonic Waterfall. Another few Perfect Guards, very very useful indeed. And from my last box, another Dragonic Waterfall. Another Akane, another Asura Kaiser, and another Berserk Dragon. And a bunch more of these cards. So that's pretty much all for this Booster Box unboxing, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for my new videos coming out for my set review and a new video that I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, until the next time, have fun, and remember, it's okay to play casual.